behalf of Dean and Tyler, I would like to welcome everyone here today as they take this joyous and important step in their lives together. Today they are celebrating their love by making a formal lifelong commitment to each other. And I speak for them both in saying that it means so much to them to have you all here with them. All of you have traveled great distances to be in this beautiful place today to share in this ceremony and to celebrate life, family, and friends. And they thank you. You are all important parts of Dean and Tyler's lives. You have supported them throughout the years. You have seen each of them at their worst and at their best. And you've been with each of them during both the good times and the hard times. In your own way, each of you here has played an intimate role in shaping Dina and Tyler into the people that they have become. And thus you have played a major part in bringing them together today. You are also what will help sustain them in the future. Who gives this woman to be wedded to this man? Our mother and I do. Tyler and Dina, when you take your marriage vows, I urge you to think about the promises you're making to each other and keep them in your heart for the rest of your lives. You will love each other and never take that for granted. You will cherish one another and continue to explore and enjoy all that you find wonderful in each other as you grow together through the years. You will support each other and treat each other with respect in the face of any joy or hardship, you will be honest and share your thoughts with each other, trust each other, and continue to bring what is best in yourselves to your relationship. You will always foster your individual interests and give the other the freedom to do so, while at the same time always working toward building and expanding that which is special and unique to the bond you are formalizing today. You will strive always for adventure in your lives and for peace and love in your home that will be welcoming to all who are joining you in this journey. Let us pray. <clears throat> oh Lord, our hearts are filled with great happiness on Dina and Tyler's wedding day. As they come before you, pledging their hearts and lives to one another, grant that they may ever be true and loving living together in such a way as to never bring shame or heartbreak into their marriage. Please temper their hearts with kindness and understanding. Rid them of all pretense and jealousy. Help them to be each other's sweetheart, helpmate, best friend, and guide, so that together they may meet the cares and problems of life more bravely. God, may the home they are creating today truly be a place of love and harmony where your spirit is always present. Bless this marriage and walk beside Dean and Tyler throughout all of their lives together. And God, we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Tyler, do you take Dina to be your wife? You promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others holding only unto her. Athena, do you take Tyler to be your husband? You promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him. Okay, Tyler. 
place the ring on Dean's finger and repeat after me. I, Tyler, take you, Dina, to be my wife, to have and hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. With this ring, I be wed. Place the ring on his finger and repeat after me. <laughs> I, Dina. I, Dina. Take you, Tyler. Take you, Tyler. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. To love and to cherish until death do us part. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warm to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Though you are two persons, there is but one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may your days be good and long upon the earth. Dean and Tyler, you have come here today as two individuals. When you leave here today, you will not leave us as two individuals, but as two members of one union. You will be a new entity. As so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in holy matrimony, have promised your love to each other by these vows, the joining of your hands and the giving of these rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, you may now kiss your bride. Thanks for out there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Miles.